I want to say something. We spend a lot of time asking God for things, praying to God for things, and we spend a lot of energy focused on how much we want. And usually it's like a, it's a long staircase. All the wants, all the desires that we have, it's like a, it's almost like a never ending staircase. There's always more that we want. There's always more that's relevant. There's always more than applicable. We want to get married. We want to get married. We want to have children. We want to have one child. We want to have two children. We have a home for the children. We want to have summer home. We want to have businesses to support the children. We want to have businesses to support our family. We want money to, to support ourselves. We want money for chesed. We want money for, right, it continuously grows. It continuously grows. We've got a table that holds 10 people. We want a bigger house. We want a bigger house. We could feed 20 people, right? It's a never-ending thing. And usually, as things are set up in this time, the more we get, the more it is that we naturally sort of siphon off our time with Hashem. I think there could be a cheat code to turning that staircase into an escalator. It's still got to go like in the steps, but how do you speed it up? I think if we match Hashem's answering of us with more dedication to Him, I think it opens up more blessings. I think it opens up more opportunity. I'm thinking in my own life as certain things are starting to happen, like, oh, man, that means I'm going to have to shift this, this, and this. And it's like, no, no, no. You know what? Let me try harder now. Maybe all these challenges and obstacles have been preparing me not for an easier journey, but to see the obstacles as opportunities to ascend Thus, the journey is more pleasant because I don't want the obstacles to go away. I want to keep going higher because in going higher, I'm not better prepared. I'm better positioned. I'm better motivated. I'm better, better trained. I've got stronger endurance and I'm elevating my failures. If I keep my attempts at righteousness the same as God blesses me more, I'm actually going down. I'm saying I'm not as hungry and is motivated. I'm satisfied with what I have. And thus maybe God has to slow down the blessings. But if I tell myself, if I show God like, hey, I, I, I might be back to square one before these blessings in terms of my success rate, but I'm elevating my attempts. If I go on the exercise bike and I work out every day at a three and I go for 20 minutes and in the next two weeks, I don't bump it up to a four or to a five. Me going for 20 minutes isn't a feat. Me going for 20 minutes is an accomplishment. It was an accomplishment two weeks ago. Now I got to go for 20 minutes at level five. Now, now a week and a half later, I got to go for 20 minutes at level seven. I got to keep pushing. Even if I find myself not quite yet able to maintain the 20 minutes, I'm closer. I'm closer. And I really wanted to share this for myself because an idea popped in my head and I'm like, yo, I'm going to go harder. And I thought, you know what? Let me share. Let me share this with the rest of the Hevra, with the rest of the people. As God starts blessing you, go harder. As you start to see the blessings, lean into them, right? If, for example, if you, if you give once God gives to you, it's like as soon as you see the FedEx truck on the block, hey, you start giving, which is all of a sudden going to get me even further. And now I don't even got to see the truck on the block. I just know God's going to bless me. I know it's coming. Let me just, I'm preemptive on my giving. I'm preemptive on my, on my chesed, on my tzedakah, on my rachmanis for others. I think that's the cheat code. I can update you guys because I'm definitely about to turn it up. And one thing I think I've learned is the process and the progressive journey with Hashem. To travel with Hashem, knowing where I want to get to, but appreciating where I was and maximizing where I am. And that is the journey. Never looking back, but mindful from whence I've came. My heart to the future, but my eyes and my mind on the present because this is what God's given me. And if I'm not focused on the present, I'm not fully appreciating what God has given me. Now, if my give back is towards the future, I'm actually praising Hashem and saying, look, I already know you're about to turn up. I already know you got more in the kitchen. I already know this ain't the last course of the meal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me start sharing. I know it's more coming out the kitchen. 
And it's not transactional in like, yep, three minutes. If it don't come out in three minutes, oh, that was wrong. Let me take that back. Meaning I'm at, I'm at the buffet with the boss. I'm always going to eat, baby. <laughs> He's always got something for me. Do I got to wait till I see the food hit the table? Do I got to wait till I see the coming out the back? Or am I preemptively giving and sharing? And I think that's how we get to a place where it looks like we go without. I was reading something um, about Hani the Circle Maker and the Gomorrah Tanis, and it talked about his, his son and, and, and another one of his sons. And it says one of his sons were, was very poor. He, he like, you know, he had to, you know, kind of struggle to put things together. And, I'm, and I was thinking to myself, I didn't mean to, I forgot to bring some of my chavrusa. Such a righteous man who people came to for miracles when they needed rain. People came to him when they needed rain. Rain is, is, is analogous with, with blessing, with bracha, with shefa. People came to him when everyone needed the rain. It didn't rain for him? What does that even mean? And I got to dig deeper. I don't have an answer. But my thought is he was pushing the envelope. He was given as much as he got, maybe more. He wanted to walk showing Hashem he trusted him so much. He didn't need to have a bunch of money stockpiled to serve him. He didn't need to have a bunch of money stockpiled to do good for the people. He didn't need to have five steaks in the fridge to give what he had on the table to someone else in need. That's the goal, man. You already know what it is, man. It's Bounce Pass Bankole, a.k.a. Base Midrash Bankole, man. It's the toiler way, man. God been good to you, man. Why not call his bluff, man? Why not show him that you ain't in this for the transactional? You're in this for the long haul, the relationship, the maximizing and the spreading of the trust and the love of Hashem in a way that causes someone else to feel blessed just by knowing you, man, I speak it into your life, Yahweh.